Hey guys, it's Jimmy here. Welcome back to another Dragonville video. Today I'm teaching you how to breathe the new Ice to Dragon in game, and also going to take a look at the new Everfrost Dragon as well, since I just got here today. Now I haven't touched Dragonville for a week because I've been very preoccupied with some other things that have been taking priority. Okay, okay. Matt, let's go! Let's go! But today we're gonna finally get back on DV and see what is up with the game and see how we can get ourselves this new dragon. So let's get right into it. So they just released a new dragon yesterday, and honestly, it's gonna be kind of hard to breed. I'm gonna show you guys how to breed it first for you guys. So if you are wondering how to get, you can know how to. So what you have to do is breed the Vergalace dragon on top of a Zumi dragon or Umi. I don't know. It's like Umi, but Zumi. But uh, yeah, you gotta get those two dragons and breed it together. The hardest one to get is actually gonna be Umi because you literally have to breed Snowball and Katu to get access to it. So yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the new dragons and how to get them because they're over complicated. You have to get like a bunch of other dragons just to get the next dragon up. Then with that, you get access to the final dragon to be able to breed. So yeah, that's the only problem with breeding this new dragon. It's still an interesting dragon to say the least. But honestly, it's going to be pretty painful to get. It is a four element dragon though. It does take one day of breeding time to actually breed. But if you do have an upgraded breeding cave, it's only going to take you 19 hours and 12 minutes or in order to get access to. Another thing we did get besides actually the new dragon is actually Everfrost. I did breed that actually in co-op with my friend Strong. So I do have access to now. We will hatch in just a bit here. But if you were wondering how I did breed it, really all I did was just breed an Elder Cold Dragon with the Everfrost dragon in order to get access to it. He did switch his dragon though for the time being. It looks like somebody else actually just put up the uh, new dragon so i'm actually gonna try to go for that right now maybe first try and get lucky see if we can get it one day one day that's a good sign one day breeding time for the new dragon did we actually get it first try in holy crap we literally just bred it first try in literally there was no effort put in at all i literally just got it so we'll hatch that in just a second here too but for the time being though let's actually hatch the new dragon i said new dragon but i was supposed to say everfrost first so let's hatch everfrost first then right after we'll hatch the new dragon that just came out and of course here's the everfrost dragon egg and here's the dragon itself honestly i love the look of this dragon it's like a little ice spirit which is pretty cool so now that we have that, let's max this guy out so we can see what his max stats look like. Then we'll put him in a gold booster farm to see, you know, how much he produces with boosted. So you can see base level information. What we're going to do is now max this on out and we'll be all good to go. I literally have like only touched Dragonville once a week. I think I'm doing videos only Saturday. Every Saturday I'll do a new video. I think that's going to be my plan. Unless I just I don't have any content for DV, then I'm just not going to touch DV. But now you can expect to have a see a Dragonville video every Saturday. I don't think I'm going to be as consistent as I would be. But yeah, but um, yeah, I'll definitely do some more videos on the game when I want to, for sure. So here we go. Here's the new dragon at the max level for Everfrost at 346 gold a minute. And honestly, it just looks pretty nice if I say so myself. Now what we'll do is we're going to go put it in a gold boosted farm to see how much it produces with max boosters. Okay, so with the max boosters in the game, it'll produce a total of 761 gold a minute at the max level on top of it. So it's pretty good. Nothing too crazy. I thought it might be even past 800, but this is still good to say the least. So what we'll do now is hatch the newest dragon that just came out to the game. So I've come back a day later to Dragonville to hatch the other dragon because literally I ran out of gems that I couldn't have this dragon. So finally, we're gonna be hatching the new dragon. And here is the new dragon, of course. Are you sure you wanna speed up with four gems? Yes, absolutely. And you see, it's an interesting dragon. Of course, we're gonna hatch it over here. And here's the dragon egg. And then here is the dragon in itself. Which honestly, it's kind of just a dragon on ice skates. That's literally all it is. There isn't anything really too fancy to it. I'm pretty sure I also have it near my gold boosted farm. So it's probably gonna be automatically boosted. Actually, it's not close enough for some reason. So yeah, here's the base information. We're of course gonna max this on out. Then after that, we're gonna take it to a gold boosted island to see how much it produces with everything on it, of course. I literally have been just watching a lot of animes recently because I've been doing a new reaction channel, which I've been just posting anime reactions to. Right now, I gotta work on the Misfit Demon King before the second season comes out. So if you guys are an anime fan and you haven't checked my anime reaction channel, then you know what to do. Go check it out. I'll probably react to some TV shows and movies later. But we'll of course see what happens with that though. But that's been something I've been very busy with today because literally, Yesterday was Wednesday, I'm mean not Wednesday, Friday when this video came out, when I was working on this video, then it transferred over to Saturday, so I'm preoccupied today. Anyways though, that's beside the point. This new dragon produces a total of 113 gold a minute at the max level, and honestly, it looks pretty nice to say at least. It's not like anything too crazy. What we're gonna do now is move it over to a gold farm and see how much it produces with boosters. So with all the boosters in Dragonville, it produces a total of 909 gold a minute. So it isn't anything too crazy. It's still a good gold dragon if you want to use it like that, but honestly, the satin dragon, or quintessence dragon would still be way better than this but honestly it's still a good dragon nonetheless you guys did find this video interesting though or even helpful then you know what to do make sure to smash like button and get subscribed to miss on future content can't say i'll be
I'll be doing Dragonville every other second. But I can say this, you'll see a variety of content that you won't miss, don't want to miss. Yeah, that, yeah, that's what I want to say. So until then, I'll see you guys in another video, G-Man out.